Hello friends, welcome to lecture 2 of Fourier series and here we can solve a uh, few problems on this topic okay, Fourier series and if you haven't watched the first video lecture 1 then please watch that uh, because I have uh, explained how to solve uh, such kind of problems how to find the Fourier series in details in the first lecture and the link of the first lecture is given in the you know description box so please uh, go through and uh, lecture 3 part uh, the next lecture uh, after this video okay uh, will appear at the end of the screen uh, of this video end the screen of the video if uploaded if it is not uploaded yet then it will not appear but when it will be uploaded then that's going to be appearing at the end screen of this video okay so now let's uh, start and before we start please subscribe the channel and uh, stay connected and uh, share with your friends if you like the video then hit the thumbs up button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded let's start so here is the first question uh, find uh, for your series to represent uh, this function for the interval 0 to 2 pi and uh, let me show you how to solve this uh, we need to find a Fourier series for this function so here is the function this is the given function pi minus x okay now uh, let us consider the Fourier series let f of x which is nothing but is equal to pi minus x and we know the Fourier series is of the form of a naught by 2 plus root of uh, sorry summation uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x cos n x plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x and where a naught a n b n these are constants right are constants so let it be equation number one right so how to find a naught so we have already discussed that uh, in the previous lecture so a naught is given by 1 by pi integration from 0 to 2 pi f of x dx right so that's how we can find uh, a naught right so here 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi and uh, here you see f of x is pi minus x so let me take here x uh, sorry pi minus x instead of f of x we have taken pi minus x right pi minus x dx <coughs> now uh, let us integrate this first uh, so if you integrate this then what are you going to get so 1 by pi so integration uh, here it is pi then dx uh, integration of dx is x simply so here we will get pi x minus and integration of x that's going to be x square by 2 right so we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi right now puts the limits and then you will get 1 by pi putting the limits if you put 2 pi here then you will get 2 pi square and on putting 0 you will get 0 right so 2 pi square so then minus uh, let's put again 2 pi here then 4 pi square by 2 again on putting 0 you will get 0 so that's right let's uh, uh, ignore that part so here you see uh, what you will get here so this 2 cancels 4 and gives 2 right so what are we gonna get uh, we have got here pi 2 pi square minus 2 pi square that is nothing but is equal to 0 so we have got that a naught is equal to 0 so we have got a naught is equal to 0 now let's find a n right so let me go to the next slide so let me copy the function here uh, just wait this is the function okay let me go to the next slide so here is the next slide so how to find a naught let me show you 
a not sorry not a not a a n a not is already determined so a n that's going to be given by 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x cos n x cos n x dx right so that's how we can find that so now 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x is our uh, this uh, function that uh, pi minus x then cos and x dx so let me find the integral first uh, without limits so first let me uh, now let us evaluate the integral on it take this uh, integration pi minus x into cos and x dx so what are you gonna get if you integrate it uh, taking this as, as u this is as v first function and second function so then what are you gonna do here first function that is uh, pi minus x integration cos and x dx minus uh, integration derivative of this will be given by minus uh, 1 right and then again integration cos and x dx and whole dx right let me write here dx first uh, dx so hope you have understood this so integration by parts right this is the rule we have applied here integration by parts just a little bit of error in span here okay so now it's fine so hope you have understood this now what are you gonna get integration of this cos uh, nx that's going to be pi minus x integration of cos nx will be sin nx divided by n then minus so because of this minus this minus will be plus right then uh, plus so integration of cos nx again sin n x by n dx right that's what uh, we will get right so now you see so this n can be taken out right so here we can write 1 by n directly so again now integrate this sin nx so then what you will get pi minus x sin nx by n plus then what you will get 1 by n square cos n x by n then this n is multiplied right so again here you should get minus okay minus 1 by n square cos n x because integration of sin n x is minus cos n x divided by n and if you multiply this 1 by n then you will get this result so hope you have understood this so now let us use this result uh, here right uh, to get a n is equal to 1 by pi put in bracket what we have got pi minus x pi minus x into sin n x by n minus 1 by n square cos n x divided by sorry not divided by so we are integrating it uh, from 0 to 2 pi right so now put the upper limits and lower limits and sine 2 pi that's going to be 0 right sine n pi is 0 that's why uh, that's why we can ignore this part directly so that's why yeah, we have only this part so if you put that uh, here 1 by pi first of all 1 by sorry minus 1 by minus 1 by uh, n square cos n 2 pi right then minus again there is minus so it will be plus 1 by n square cos n pi if you uh, n x if x is replaced by 0 then you're gonna get cos 0 right then you're gonna get cos 0 and cos 0 is simply 1 so 1 into 1 by n square is simply keep it as 1 by n square right so putting this 
here uh, 2 pi here we have got this result and if you put 0 then you will get this right so hope you have understood this now let me go to the next slide here uh, just uh, wait uh, let me copy this result okay let me copy this result first okay so okay here you see now you can see one by pi minus one by n square so we know that uh, cos n pi is nothing but minus one whole to the power n so if n is even it will be uh, you know plus one so here you can see that cos twice n pi so twice n is obviously even so that's going to be minus one whole to the power twice n that's going to be plus one right that's going to be plus one so that's why this result gives you plus one so here you see that uh, what we can do here we will get uh, we can put here plus one so one into minus one by n square that's going to be minus one by n square plus again we have one by n square and these two become zero so that's why we have got uh, one by pi into zero that is equal to zero so this is the value of a n so we have got a n is equal to zero so we have got a n now let's find uh, b n right so how to find that b n is equal to we know that uh, 1 by pi integration from 0 to 2 pi f of x sine n x right sine n x so uh, 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi and in this problem f of x is pi minus x so here it is sine n x dx right so now let's find the integration first uh, separately now uh, integration pi minus x sine x so integrating by words so here first function that is uh, pi minus x integration of sine nx that's gonna be uh, minus so here let me write here minus cos nx by n right then minus integration uh, derivative of this first function that's gonna be here minus one then again integration uh, of sine nx by n sorry not n sine nx uh, dx integration of sine nx dx that's gonna be minus that's going to be minus cos n x by n then again we have dx here so hope you have understood this uh, now what we can do here you see so we're gonna get minus pi minus x into cos n x by n here this is minus minus plus again plus minus minus so odd number of negative signs i'm gonna give you minus right, right then again if you integrate this uh, cos nx then you're gonna get uh, minus sine nx by n into n that's gonna be n squared right that's gonna be n squared so this is the result we have got uh, this is uh, now replace this uh, integration here so use this uh, result of integration using the limits lower limits and upper limits then what you will get then you will get bn so let me copy this result to uh, uh, let me copy this result first okay so here is bn and this is the uh, result of uh, integral so use this uh, integral here so then what you will get you will get bn is equal to minus uh, pi minus x cos nx by n minus sine nx by n square so we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi and here we have 1 by pi right this one by pi so let me write it properly 
okay so this is one by pi into this so that's what we will get right so now put the limits here then what you will get so if you put 2 pi here uh, you know this term will be 0 on putting 2 pi right and so that's why only this term left out so here 1 by pi minus pi minus 2 pi cos n 2 pi by n minus and on putting 0 what you will get uh, there is already minus so this minus will be plus so that's why you will get pi minus 0 into cos nx x is 0 now so cos 0 by n that's what you're gonna get right so here 1 by pi so this is gonna be minus pi minus minus plus pi then cos twice pi uh, and that's gonna be cos n twice pi that's gonna be plus 1 1 by n so here pi by n we're gonna get so now you see so remember that cos nx is equal to minus 1 to the power n so if you have twice n then it should be minus 1 to the power twice n and twice n is even so that's going to be it is plus 1 so that's why this series has become plus 1 by n right plus 1 by n so that's why 1 by n into pi we get pi by n then uh, right uh, then here cos 0 is 1 so here we have got 1 by n so hope you have understood this so now uh, 1 by n not only 1 by n there should be a pi also so this is a pi and adding these two what we will get 1 by pi into 2 pi by n that's what we're gonna get and this pi pi cancel so we have got b n is equal to 2 by n this is the value of b n b n is equal to 2 by n so we have got a n b n and uh, a not as well as n x by n square right minus so n square is taken out so 2 by n square then again if you integrate this cos nx then you will get sine n x by n then this and this n that's uh, n is going to be n cube right so this n this is uh, this become n cube right so we can write that uh, 2 by n cube sine n x right we can write that one so we have got this result now uh, and, uh, that's going to be minus x x minus x square sine n x by n so let me write it clearly sine n x by n and on removing the bracket you're gonna get twice x minus one cos of n x by n square this minus becomes plus two by n cube sine n x that's what you're gonna get this is uh, the integral now use the limits pi to minus pi so in order to find the n so let me go to the next slide so let me copy this result so here you can see so we need to find a n that should be integrated from 0 to sorry not 0 to uh, minus pi to plus pi so this is the formula to calculate a n right so we have to integrate this minus 2 plus pi uh, minus pi to plus pi and the integral uh, the result of the integral is this one so that's why we have written this like this way so hope you have understood this now let's put the upper limits and lower limits uh, here you can see if you put here pi that uh, sine n pi that's uh, these two terms gonna be zero right on putting pi so on putting zero also these two terms gonna be zero so that's why we will get a n is equal to minus only this term left out so minus 
uh, 2 pi uh, sorry if you put pi and minus pi not 0 in uh, term in the terms containing sin and x both are going to be 0 right in both cases so that's why uh, we're going to take the middle term only where uh, it has cos so now minus 1 sin n pi by n square then minus again there is minus so it's going to be plus and uh, 2 minus pi right now so that's why minus twice pi minus 1 then cos n minus pi that's going to be again cos n pi right by n square replace the x by minus pi then again uh, you know cos of minus theta is cos theta right you know that uh, simply so that's why although you have put uh, minus pi here uh, that's going to be cos n pi right so hope you have understood this So now, what are you gonna get uh, here from here? So here you see minus minus. As you can see, we have got a n is equal to this one. The uh, sorry, uh, the integration the result of this integration is this. So we're gonna use this result here, and we're gonna put the limits. Then we will get a n. So let me go to the new slide first. Let me copy this result. So let me copy this result. Right. So here you see so this is the a n so now we can write that a n is equal to 1 by pi and there should be 1 by pi I forgot to put the 1 by pi here right so 1 by pi so what is the result of the integral we have got this is the result we have got integrating by parts so then let me clean this uh, line so we have to integrate this from minus pi to plus pi so first let me put pi so 1 by pi so pi minus uh, pi square so why we have ignored these two because uh, sine n pi is 0 so here uh, we have to consider this term only so minus 2 pi minus 1 and cos n pi by n square again minus because of this minus there will be plus then again 2 minus n pi uh, sorry minus pi so minus twice pi minus 1 and cos of n minus pi that's going to be again cos n pi because cos n theta uh, minus n theta is uh, cos n theta right uh, or cos minus theta is uh, cos theta simply so that's why although you have put uh, minus pi you're going to get minus uh, sorry plus n pi so cos n pi by n squared so that's what you're gonna get now let us take this uh, term common and doing so what you're gonna get 1 by pi so minus 2 pi minus 1 uh, removing the bracket it's gonna be plus 1 minus 2 pi uh, minus 1 then cos n pi by n squared is taken common so here this minus 1 plus 1 cancels so 1 by pi minus 4 pi minus 4 pi minus 4 pi and cos n pi is 1 to the power n by n squared that's what we got so this is the value of a n this is a n is equal to here pi pi cancels so we're gonna get minus 4 minus 1 to the power n by n square so this is the value of a n right now let's find b n okay so here you see b n is equal to nothing but 1 by pi uh, integration from minus pi to plus pi then in this case f of x is x minus x square sine n x sine n x dx now again uh, integrating by parts uh, let me first uh, evaluate the integration okay so integrating by parts x minus x square sine nx dx so here you see so first function x minus x square integration of sine nx dx minus then derivative of this that is then minus and uh, derivative of this derivative of this will be 1 minus twice x right 1 minus twice x then integration of 
again sin nx by sorry sin nx dx and whole dx right sorry then again we're going to use the integration by parts here okay first uh, integrate this so then what you will get x minus x square and integration of this uh, minus cos nx by n so so you can write this term as multiplying that minus you're gonna get here x minus x uh, x square minus x in the right cos n x by n because integration of this it should give, give minus uh, cos uh, nx by n so this minus is multiplied here so that's why we have got this result by n then minus uh, again uh, here uh, if you multiply this minus here then it's going to be plus uh, twice x minus 1 right and uh, integration of this is nothing but uh, just two just work with one with full minute integration of this is minus cos nx by n right then this minus multiplied here then uh, or sorry uh, let me my is uh, my multiply this minus with this one so that's gonna give you plus integration of 1 minus twice x cos n x by n so this is gonna be n and dx now again if you integrate uh, using integration by parts then here you will get cos n x by n uh, plus this is the first function minus stress x uh, 1 minus stress x then integration of cos n x by n that's gonna give you uh, that's gonna give you sine uh, you know integration of cos n x dx is uh, sine n x by n because of this minus that's gonna be your n square right so that's why uh, we will get let, instead of writing this let me write here directly sine n x by n square then again minus uh, integration derivative of this is now minus 2 only because derivative of 1 is uh, 0 and derivative of twice x is 2 so as there is minus so here we are gonna get minus 2 then again integration of uh, the second function that is cos n x by n dx that's gonna be nothing but that's gonna be nothing but your sine n x by n square dx right now here you can see this uh, minus 2 can be multiplied here so that's going to be uh, it, that is taken out of the integration then integration of this you're going to get uh, integration of this you will get minus cos nx uh, you know integration of sin nx is sin nx is this one right minus cos nx by n and uh, because of this n square and into n then you're gonna get n cube and this minus sign will be multiplied here then uh, your final result gonna be like this something like this so let me show you that's gonna be this minus cos n x by n cube and this multiplied here so so just wait so our result will be minus minus that's going to be plus and that's minus 2 into this that is what we're going to get right so hope you have understood this so we have got this uh, integration now let's find a value of b and putting those limits here then what you will get uh, let me copy this result first okay so b n b n is nothing but 1 by pi and here what is the result of the integral this is the result of the integration and we have to integrate it from minus pi to plus pi and here on putting pi this sin n x this part gonna be 0 because cos uh, sorry sin n pi is 0 it doesn't matter if you put my uh, minus pi or plus pi so we're gonna deal with these two terms now so 1 by pi bracket so pi square minus pi 
then cos n pi by n then minus again let us put here minus pi then we will get minus pi square that's going to be again plus pi square minus minus pi that's going to be plus right and cos n minus pi that's going to be cos n pi because cos n theta sorry cos minus theta is cos theta so here n pi that's what we're going to get cos n pi by n and uh, now let us put the pi n minus pi in this in this last term so minus 2 cos n pi by n and again if you minus then uh, if you subtract minus and there is minus so that's going to be plus uh, 2 cos n minus pi that's going to be again cos n pi right by n that's what you should get these two cancels here so and these two are taken common then what will be your result 1 by pi pi square minus pi minus pi square minus pi cos n pi by and that's what we're gonna get here uh, these two cancels so minus n pi minus n pi sorry in minus pi minus pi that's gonna be 2 into minus pi right cos n pi by n here pi pi gone and 2 cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 to the power n by n so this is the value of b n so we have got b n is equal to 2 into minus 1 to the power n by n that is what we have got and we have a minus sign here so let me put the minus sign also so this is the value of b n right so we have got b n we have got uh, a n and we have got a naught as well so let's use these values in this uh, first equation let me copy this first equation so so first let me copy this now let me go to the end screen okay so this is the equation number one that uh, we have now let us put putting the values of values of a naught a n and uh, b n in equation number one so if you do so then what you will get so here you see so now you see what was the value of a n first let me use that uh, value of a n what was a sorry not a naught so a naught is equal to if you uh, let me go to the first uh, screen so this is the value of a naught here you see this is the value of a naught let me use this value of a naught here so this is the value of a naught so if you put this value here then what you will get so then you will get half of minus 2 pi square by 3 that's what you're gonna get okay so now what is the value of n let us put the value of a n what is the value of n let's let me show you so this is the value of n right so now let me use this value of n so so this is the value of n right let me cut this so let me use here so what was that uh, minus 4 then minus 1 to the power n this good minus 4 minus 1 to the power n let me write the cos n is a little bit on that side okay by n square okay this is the value of n now let us put the value of bn let us put the value of bn here so what was the value of bn this is the value of bn let me copy this so this is the value of bn right now let us replace this bn by this value so what was that that is nothing but minus 2 minus 1 to the power n minus 1 to the power n by n okay just wait uh, let me use here call it okay that, uh, so minus 2 minus 1 to the power n by n so so this is the value of bn okay so that is what we have got now let us expand this 
uh, here minus 2 minus uh, so 2 to cancel so we have got minus pi squared by 3 right so that should be 1 actually minus 1 to the by n not 1 n. so now let's put n is equal to 1 2 3 rest of so on so then what you will get uh, on putting here 1 n is equal to 1 so that's minus 1 into minus 4 that's going to be plus 4 by n square means 1 square so you will get uh, this uh, result like this uh, something like this let me write here that uh, pi 4 cos x by 1 square then uh, if you put n is equal to 2 then this uh, minus 1 will be plus 1 plus 1 into minus 4 that's going to be minus 4 minus 4 cos 2x by 2 square if you put n is equal to 3 then you should get 4 cos trice x by 3 square and plus so, uh, sorry next term will be negative right next term will be negative and so on that's what you will get now let me go to the next series so here you see uh, from the from this result you can take four common right so on taking four common then you're gonna get this right you're gonna get this so next time uh, let's put again one here let's put again one that's gonna be minus one into minus two that's gonna be plus two right so here two into then sine and x by 1 then uh, minus 2 into if you put 2 here then that's going to be positive positive into minus 2 then that will be negative uh, 2 by sine twice x by 2 and then again plus 2 uh, sine twice x by 3 then again minus and so on then again you can see that clearly you can take minus two uh, sorry you can take two common right you can take two common so then you can write this series in this form right this two is taken common right so this is the four year series that uh, this is the required series right so this is the required series okay this is the required so hope you have understood and also we need to show that uh, let me go to the question so here you see also we need to show that we need to prove this okay so uh, using the final result uh, you can prove it so what is the final result we have got this is the final series we have got right from here to there so let's uh, put uh, x is equal to 0 then what you will get in this uh, series so what is the final series we have got let me write it uh, on the next slide so find the final series we have got x minus x square x uh, sorry x minus x square is equal to minus pi square by 3 plus 4 into cos x by 1 square minus cos uh, twice x by 2 square plus cos twice x by 3 square minus uh, dot 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 so on right plus 2 into sine x by 1 minus sine x uh, sorry sine twice x by 2 then plus sine twice x by 3 then minus again then so on so le uh, let me take this as equation number 2 and putting x is equal to 0 in 2 so what we're gonna get on the left hand side you will get 0 0 minus 0 square that's gonna be 0 obviously so minus pi square by 3 then plus 4 into we know that uh, we know cos 0 is 1 so that's why uh, this term is going to give you 1 by 1 square uh, minus uh, 1 by 2 square then plus 1 by 3 square then minus 1 by 4 square then 1 my plus 1 by 5 square and uh, minus so on dot 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 so and uh, you know sine 0 is 0 so this part is going to be equal to 0 right so hope you have understood this so now from here this is minus uh, pi square by 3 is equal to 4 
by 1 by 1 is square minus 1 by 2 is square plus 1 by 3 is square minus 1 by 4 is square and uh, plus and so on right so this uh, let us multiply both sides uh, by 1 by 4 then if you multiply both sides by 1 by 4 then this 4 this 4 cancels and 4 3 is 12 right so that's why we have got we have got let me just uh, do a little bit of adjustment here to find the space okay just wait so what we have got uh, multiplying both sides by 1 by 4 we will get pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus sorry not plus minus 1 by 2 square then again plus 1 by 3 square again minus 1 by 4 square and follow the pattern right so that's how we can prove this so hope you have understood and in the next lecture uh, we're gonna come up with uh, more questions okay so thank you for watching and uh, stay connected and share with your friends if you have not subscribed yet uh, then please subscribe the channel 